Hey everybody, welcome back to New Arrivals. Happy New Year. My name is Kuhn Bills from the Fellowship of Acoustics and I'm really excited to be back again uh, in this new year. We selected five beautiful guitars again, um, so let's wait no longer and kick off. So here we have a beautiful 1956 Les Paul Junior. So this guitar was um, originally launched in 1954 as an entry level guitar, single P90 in the back, and right now is so adored by a lot of different um, guitarists. It's basically what you see is what you get. That single P90 gives so much power, but sometimes you need to think, do you need more than just that P90 in the back? The next one here, uh, we picked it because we don't get them too often in the shop used. Um, so this is a traded in uh, Martin OMJM. Uh, it's from 2019. One of the very last serial numbers from 2019. So it's almost 2020. I hear a lot of people always think, what are the differences between a regular OM28 and the OMJM? Um, there are two main differences. They are the top. So this is an Engelman spruce top uh, and the dovetail construction. Um, also the bracing is a bit different and the neck profile not with and string spacing are different. So all these things add up, make a lot of difference. And especially the Engelman spruce top. So this Engelmann spruce gives a bit more harmonics to the tone and it's a bit more powerful as well. Um, Sitka holds this really strong midi tone as well, but this one gives a nice top chime to it, which is great. It's really good for this guitar. And the next one here, so this is a 53 Gibson J45, the absolute workhorse. It's not in the most original condition. It had a reef in, um, it had a reef red and it had a neck reset done already. Uh, but that also adds some charms to this guitar because that makes that you can play this guitar again for many and many years to come. It still holds this authentic, warm Gibson sound. So it's, it's dry and uh, nice and warm already. Rings and bells, warm and mellow tone. And then we got one that we had to pick because we picked this one as well. Oh, we didn't have to pick, I was really excited to pick it. And I was really excited to get it in as well. That's this CJ uh, MH. So the Collings CJ is Collings version on the Gibson j 45 on the slope shoulder dreadnought. And they basically made it a muscle car. So this guitar is strong, it's powerful, it's Amazingly good sounding and amazingly comfortable to play as well. So what they did with this guitar is it's, it's cool. But, um, it's a short scale, so what they did with that short scale, you, you kind of feel the Gibson inheritance there. It's, it's ringing and singing at the same times, but on the same times it's just so powerful and so strong. Yeah, it's like a real muscle car. To stay on that team, we got this haar. And you're like, huh? Muscle cars? Yes, because it's in Highland Green. And I love Highland Green. It's one of my favorite colors. I mean, just look at this. And Highland Green is a custom color that they use for Ford Mustangs. I mean, you want your car in this color, right? Just like you want your guitar in this color. Super double bound Telecaster style, um, club on pickups there. So for dynamic sound and really good operational. These are the guitars that you see on stages uh, because they are just made for the job and just any job. Um, they are plaques, so they play magnificent. They play Super. Yeah, so it's a really good guitar and made in the Netherlands.
which is a big plus as well. So that was it for new arrivals this week. I really hope you enjoyed the video again. Uh, it's great seeing you in the new year and I hope to see you next week again. Bye bye. Hiya.